Well, hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to install a package, actually three packages of bees and a queen bee into my new 10 frame Hoover Hives Langstrom uh, deep uh, brood box, basically setting up a new beehive. So uh, I'll just this is the first time I'm doing a video, so you know, patience with me, understand. Hopefully you can hear me, I don't know. We'll find out when I do the playback. So, give you an overview of what we're going to do is we're going to separate the three boxes by these two bridges here. Then I'm going to pull this center panel off of this box because this one has got the queen in it. I will take the queen out, suspend it inside the, uh, the brood box, and then I will proceed to... I've got one after me. And then I'll proceed to uh, put the bees on a platform out in front of the hive so that maybe they'll march in on their own. Okay. All right, now I got all my protection on, so now I won't be bothered by the bees that are wanting to make this their own special place. Goodness guys, why'd you make it so hard? May have to go get a saw and because they got one, two, three, four, six staples. I may just get a saw, cut all three of them away from each other. Let's try that. The boxes separated. Let me get the queen and the uh, food can out of here. We'll save this. Okay. That done. Now we got to get the queen out. All right, we got the queen. Boy, they had really built some propolis on her. get the cork out that has the candy on it, which is this end. There we go. And we'll put it 
inside two of the frames. Sure. That will ensure that the queen cage doesn't fall down inside the hive. Okay, now got that done. <coughs> I'm going to readjust the camera. and put the first box of bees into the hive. that was the right thing to do or not. Put these back in. Yeah, they're marching into the hive. Okay. Where's my cup? Okay. Um, what I'm wanting to view or wanting you guys to see is that the first box I dumped it down directly into the hive so that they would get the queen uh, pheromones circulated. Okay. Now let me dig out another can here. Well, actually, we're going to do this different. But this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the bees out onto the landing board, the porch, and they should march, do a bee march directly into the hive. Okay, the benefit of doing it this way is that normally, see we'll leave the box here because they'll, they'll join up with all the others. As you can see, they're starting to turn and starting to go into the hive and they'll be making a major march to do that. But by doing that, there's always a certain percentage of dead bees in the package. And when you dump them directly into the hive, all of that trash and dead bees goes with them. And then they gotta work to get them all out of the hive. Well, by doing it this way, all the trash is left out here on the landing board. The bees go in, and they don't have all that work to do. Okay? Um, so we'll see how it goes. But here they are. All kinds of bees. Actually, there was a lot of dead bees in that group, that box. So we'll give them time to acclimate. <coughs> and get their tails into the hive and then we'll dump the third box in there. But as you can see these going in that direction on the outside to going in that direction it's just so much easier. Not only that the theory is that when you dump them into the box into the hive basically you're telling them well this is where you're going but if you dump them out here and they enter the hive on their own accord they're less likely to leave in a swarm or for whatever reasons they're they know that this is the home they went into, so this is the home where they want to stay. So that's the theory behind that method. Um, let me see what I 
I've got as far as that's a lot of dead bees. I want to get them out of the way so I can get the majority of the rest of them. I know it looks like that's a lot of dead bees, but really, you figure each box has got about five to seven thousand bees in it or more, and they've been in the mail system for like three to four days. So you have, you do have a good percentage. Now the box I just dumped was the one that had the most dead bees in it. So what happens is, or what has happened, is that the queen is inside, the bees are going around and around her cage, she's releasing a pheromone, and then when you come down here you'll see bees that will stay here and they'll be fanning, they'll be flapping their wings. They have a gland at the end of their abdomen that secretes a pheromone that tells all the other bees, hey, here's the house, this is where you need to come, and these bees will all tune into it and go that way. Although there's a lot of bees up in here, but... Hopefully they'll, they'll be all right. Mm -hmm. All right, let me go ahead and get the, the third box. Okay, see, see them going? They're headed to the, to the hive.
Okay, I don't know if it's still running, but basically all the, what's down here now is mostly 90%, 95% dead bees. Those are the bees that will make their way into the hive. I'm fixing to go get a top box, brood box, to surround that and then put the lid on top. They will continue to feed from the three cans, which will help promote their wax building um, endeavors, if you will, so that they can draw out all the comb, the uh, the frames that are inside the hive. There is no comb inside the hive. It's just foundation frames and blank frames, a total of 10. So hopefully, um, for the first video, I hope it comes out okay. I, I think it's going to be in pieces. I don't know what to do. It, 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 I mean, it worked in the house, so I hit pause, it paused, and then when I hit it play, it, it, re -re it continued on, but this time I don't think it did that. Of course not. So, there you have a three package with a single marked queen uh, installation. And uh, we'll see how they do for the next three weeks. Um, hopefully they'll have all the comb drawn out, and I'll be ready to put uh, either a honey super on top or another uh, deep brood box to double the strength of the hive. And then I'll put a super on top of that. So there you go. Cheers. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Be safe. God bless. Well, it's been about two hours since I finished the installation. I've been in there working on editing the videos because, as I thought, it made five different videos to create that one video I was trying to make, so I've had to bridge them together. But anyhow, as you can see, the bees are far more calmed down now. And all of the bees that were on the face of the hive are now inside the hive. Let me get you a better look at it. That's it there. Remember how covered the face of that hive was? Well, they've all gone inside. And if I'm not mistaken, what they're probably doing right now is orientation flights um, to where they'll be pushing off the front of the hive and flying back and forth in front of the hive and around the corners. And then they'll start going away from the hive and going up high, flying figure eights. And each figure eight will get higher and bigger and higher and bigger and then they'll fly off then they'll come back and that's how they set their navigation to where this particular hive is and point directly to this hive so that they'll know you know where their home is from here on out so uh, incredible creatures uh, extremely intelligent totally self-supporting I mean the hive itself is a is an organism and they're just the pieces of what makes up that organism as a whole. So there it is. Uh, successful installation. All of the bees uh, made it out of their boxes and made it to the hive. They're now empty. Um, I'll give it three days and then I'll come back. I'll check on the queen to see if the, uh, if the bees have eaten away the candy so that she can escape the cage. And then uh, I'll also be able to see how much of a percentage of uh, comb building that they're doing. Uh, because she'll be ready to start laying right away because she's a marked mated queen. So she's ready, she's ready to get it on. Let's, let's start building this hive. Let's start bringing in some resources and let's make some honey. So uh, there you have it. So what I've got is uh, the bottom box is the brood box. And then there's a half box on top of that only because I've got the three cans of feed. Uh, what we call direct feeding. I, I do mine differently. A lot of people put it in from the entrance and put a scoop inside it with a jar on it. Um, I use the uh, inverted cans. Basically, when I don't have the feed cans that come with a package, I use uh, quart mason jars and I punch small holes in the top of the lid. And when you turn it upside down, it won't flow out because of the vacuum. But as soon as the bees lick on it and try to eat from it, then they'll get a drop of nectar out of it. And that's how you direct feed them. But they need to be fed right now since there's no comb. They've got to be, they've got to be um, stimulated to start producing wax so they can draw out the comb so that she can have, you know, cells to lay in and stuff to put honey and resources in. So hopefully this will be a, uh, a successful hive. It looks to be so far. Um, they really moved in pretty quick. For as many bees as there was, uh, 
I'm, I'm impressed and I'm happy with the results. Um, and if you also notice, they're not swarming me. And of course, you know, I say that now, but you know, I could get stung any moment, but they're, they're not. And, and even during the installation, um, yeah, they were flying around, but none of them were coming at me. They weren't batting me. They weren't thumping me. And, uh, you know, it, it was, they're, they're gentle bees. These are Italians, um, which are no, notorious for being, for gentle, being gentle bees. Unless you got major issues with the hive, like a dead queen or, or not enough room and they're threatening to, to, to swarm because there is no room and whatever, then they're really nice to work around. Really nice to work around. So, but uh, I would imagine by tomorrow, I'll come out here tomorrow morning and take a look at them and uh, I'll be seeing them come in with pollen. Well, actually they can't. They got no place to put the pollen. So what they'll, they'll be going out getting resources that they'll need to make the, the wax with to uh, produce the comb. So there you go. It's been a successful installation. All the bees are in the house. It's a good thing. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope um, that it was kind of informative. Uh, I enjoy doing it. It's, it's become one of my favorite hobbies. Uh, it's my bees. So. Okay, well, until next time, y'all be careful. God bless. Stay healthy. And uh, I'm going to try to put this on YouTube. And any, any responses or, or what have you, uh, criticisms too, it doesn't matter, um, would be gratefully, uh, would be welcomed big time. Because I am not a professional beekeeper by any means. As a matter of fact, I just got my uh, Florida certification today from the uh, agriculture department on my apiary. So everything looks great. So I'm happy with that. So now I am a bona fide uh, beekeeper in the state of Florida. So anyhow, uh, take care. God bless. Stay safe and healthy. Bye. Okay, we're headed up to the uh, apiary, the beehives. This is the day after uh, I did the three package installation yesterday. And then I came out this morning, 7 o'clock this morning. It was really, really cool and None of the bees had left the hives yet, so I did the oxalic acid treatment for all three hives, the uh, vapor treatment, to help control um, mites, varroa mites. And uh, they all did well. Cleaned the bottom pans. And, uh, yeah. So, as you can see now, both hives, uh, all three hives, are equally as busy. And there's the new pride and joy with uh, their in and out activity. So there's hive number one. So you've got a brood box, a second brood box, and then the flow hive on top. That new one yesterday is just a brood box. The half box on top is housing uh, food canisters. I'm feeding them direct to help stimulate their uh, drawing out the comb on the, on the frames. And then of course that one there has a double brood box. So. Um, yeah, and the populations in all three hives, especially the new one, is excellent. So everything is strong this year. Uh, we should have a successful year, I would hope, and praying, of honey manufacturing. I mean, you know, I've been waiting for this. Ever, I've been in this two years now, and I've had some honey, but not to the extent that I've been expecting. So, um, so there it is. Yeah, all the bees are doing well. The beehives are doing awesome, and I just hope it stays that way. So, and then I'll do them a next update. The, the end of this film will be when I uh, open up the new hive to uh, check on the status of the queen, and either they have released her or I will release her into the hive, and then they'll get on with the program. Look out. So, anyway, that's it for today. Uh, it is now. The 8th of May, so uh, uh, day after tomorrow I'll do another um, oxalic acid treatment and then three days later I'll do another one. So that'll be the three treatments uh, in just about a week and a half and that should take care of them for several months. So anyway, enough of that. Okay, God bless, take care, we'll catch you later, bye.